again. So we got Ryuhana with Lucretio and the Germ with Kirby. Josh, platform, on the platform, yeah. All right, here we go. Player starts moving in and out now. And we are underway. Ryuhana with some early offensive. Gets the dash attack. Oh, with the grab, grabbed a little bit too early. Kirby still had some uh, get up frames, I think. Wasn't quite ready yet. Kirby trying to use that low profile to uh, stay out of range of those grabs and uh, Lucario's pokes. And very nice uh, combo by uh, Germ. Uh, down, down air to down smash. And the Germ is playing really well right now, poking very smartly. Yep. This guy has definitely played himself some Kirby. Uh, trying to use that, uh, that back air wall right there as his go-to move. That's a really good grab right there by the Germ. But now he's given Lucario percentage to work with. And now the aura is going to start taking effect. You can see it glowing right there. And we'll see how familiar the Germ is, or germ is with uh, Lucario's aura moves and properties. And that slow aura sphere from uh, Ruhana covering a lot of space. That was a pretty good positioning by Germ. He was positioning for a down air. Uh, pokes his head out uh, for the up B, unfortunately. And a very nice uh, trap right there by Ryuhana. Putting the orb out so that he couldn't really do a whole lot. And gets the free up smash. But Germ should be able to respond to this pretty easily as long as he can uh, trap Lucario and read his up B recovery. Good down tilt to interrupt the aura sphere once again. And Kirby with a very fast pummel works in about five or six pummels. Or four or five pummels, excuse me. Oh, hey, D-Naught. Uh, is it D-Naughty? D-Naughty 12. Hope I pronounced that right. This is winner's bracket round two, for those of you just tuning in, between uh, longtime tournament goer Ryuhana and the uh, newcomer Germ. And right now... Yuhana has really taken control of the game, but a nice up air uh, will kill him at about 200%. But Germ has a lot of work to do right now. He needs to find a way to kill Ryuhana efficiently. Just d not Okay. Needs to find a way to kill him efficiently without letting the aura become a factor. But that's easier said than done. So right now, Ryuhana working on a very healthy 90% for his aura. But Germ doing a good job, staying at a relatively low percentage, under 50. And he is uh, about a smash away, I think, from sealing this. Up smash or uh, forward smash will do it. Not the best spacing right there on that forward air. It leaves him vulnerable afterwards at disadvantage, even on hit. Because he did not hit with the end of it. Force palm goes very, very far. Uh, with the boost, with the aura boost. And Yoga Catastrophe coming out again to uh, cover Ryuhana. But not a whole lot of damage. But Germ needs to start being a little concerned as he is getting up into percentages, and there is the kill. Yeah, to D-Nod in the chat, uh, we are live at the Planet Honolulu, so if you live in Hawaii, you can come on down. Hey, Josh. Stage? FD.
Unfortunately, that's probably what got us uh, in trouble in the first place. Yeah, d -Nod, just watch and enjoy. I appreciate the views, man. All right, so Rihanna up one to zero in the set. Final destination is the stage. And here we go. All right, the germ is ready. Rihanna is ready. Here we go. We'll see if the germ can uh, put the, put together the pieces of last game and figure out what he needs to do in game two. He didn't do uh, too bad. It was fairly close at the end, except for the aura uh, killing him very early. Lucario not with really a spike to worry about, so that shouldn't be too bit too bad. Can recover pretty easily from that. All right, all right, all right. So, Germ doing good again, staying at a decently low percent. Uh, he just needs to be careful once he gets Rihan into the triple digits and avoid uh, the aura attacks, the extra range and whatnot. The uh, space of FD should be good for him, though. Uh, it'll allow him to uh, get away from those aura spheres a little bit. I wonder if uh, he copies the custom moves if he absorbs uh, the special bees. Very nice. That's the that's what he needs to do right there. The germ. Or Germ needs to get those early kills, uh, putting Lucario at percentages where he can can smash to kill, but also to keep uh, make sure that he doesn't get to use his aura boosts, make that a non-factor. It's exactly how he needs to play this matchup, and it looks like he understands that now. And Josh needs to watch out for those uh, smash attacks. He needs to uh, be aware of what Kirby's going to be looking for and play around those, because as long as he can stay alive, uh, the trades of, in damage are in his favor by a lot. And yeah, it's a lot harder to get mileage out of those slow fireballs without the platforms there to uh, position everything correctly. And it looks like uh, Ruhana fishing for that F smash right there. Yeah, Ruhana really needs to get a kill immediately. Now the tables have been turned around. It looked like Jerem wanted to uh, up B over that uh, slow fireball, but didn't position it quite correctly. Good uh, good choice by Jerem. Uh, just get the pummels in. It's uh, easy, free damage. Nice use of the neutral air. I really like the way that Jerem is playing the second game. Ruhana's doing what he can, but obviously the stage is not doing him a whole lot of favors. So I'll expect to see either a character change or a new stage for game uh, three, if it comes to that. Because right now the germ is in full control. And now we'll see if uh, Ruhana gets to play with the aura that he's built up and not get smashed uh, right away. That's a really nicely timed roll, reading the aura sphere by germ, but a little bit too close. Didn't get the punish that he was looking for. He kind of touched the aura sphere too. And right now, the germ just needs to not get flustered and rush in too much. Ruhana is clearly trying to zone him out with uh, uh, runaway force palms. And as long as he doesn't get baited into too much damage, he should have this. Oh, I really like that up air option. That was a very nice uh, up air check right there with the back part of the hitbox. Oh, wow, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Jab attack for the win. I really like that up air option. That was a very clever use of up air. That was very, very nice. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. You may not pick a stage you have previously won on in the set unless your opponent agrees to it. Okay.
Okay, there was a slight confusion as to whether or not we were going back to Battlefield or not. But the but Germ has said, okay, Battlefield is fine. He did not have to say okay, but that is what he is going with. <laughs> because uh, the rules state that you cannot... Uh, go back to a stage that you previously won on in the set. So, Germ didn't have to go back to Battlefield, but back to Battlefield we shall go. Once again, shout out to everyone in the chat. Thanks for watching today. We'll be having much more uh, live local tournaments brought to you in the future, so be sure to give us a follow. As Dark M Sanic SDs yet again. Worse Sanic NA. <laughs> Here we go. We'll see if uh, Germ can uh, do a better job of avoiding the Aurosphere traps or the Aurosphere coverage. It also really helped that he got a really early kill in the early going on the second game. Got a up smash that basically put Lucario into aura range and then dead all in one move. And once again, uh, he is having his way in the early game, but Ruhana really seems to pick it up in the mid game. Once his second first stock goes into the red, that's where things kind of start to change. Good grab by Germ. Well, I was expecting him to grab, but he gets the grab anyway, just a little bit later. Trying to cover with the up airs to space. Has the right read on the back air, but the Lucario down there already out there and ready to win that trade. Nice attempt on the forward smash. A little bit too telegraphed, though, with the spacing and the way that he was approaching there. Uh, he probably should have saved that for a more op opportune time. And a very costly roll right there. Very uh, panicky roll right there. Gets him stuck off stage. Oh, but the down smash gets beat out by the up smash of Germ, and Germ has a lead once again, and they get doing exactly what he needs to do. He needs to get those uh, very timely hits on Lucario when he's just about to go into the red, and where his aura is, is at its most effective, and just kill him outright with Kirby's uh, up smash or forward smash. I mean, obviously Kirby has more than just those for kill options, but those are definitely the best go-to options. All right, so Ruhana doing a okay job of mitigating the damage he's taking, but he's still eating quite a bit. He's already up to 45, and the last thing he wants to do is to go up into the triple digits before Germ dies once. Very nice. Uh, trying to use the invincibility of the grab, uh, but he should have threw him forward away from the Aura Sphere. Probably would have been better. I understand that he's trying to get him off stage, but... Nice cancel on the down B, not getting trapped like last time. And once again, Rihanna trying to set up shop. Oh wow, I, would ex I was expecting a down air right there and not a neutral air. Could have been an input error, could have been uh, just a whole different scenario in Germ's head. Might have had a different plan. Very nice. Up air and then back air trap. Ooh, he tries to read it. Almost gets a, a shield break. And the up smash trading with the grab. Ruhana not able to grab in time. Oh, and then Germ running into the fireball. But the damage has been done. Ruhana is in the red again. Almost at 100%. And Kirby is fresh. Which means any errant smash at this point will probably get the job done. I would have liked to see him throw out an up smash after that forward air right there instead of down tilting. And again, he just needs to not force these uh, kill moves too much. Stay patient between the aura sphere spacing and then, yeah, the kill will come. Alright, good job, Germ. Good job. Kirby is victorious. 
tough break to Ryuhana, but uh, Jerem just uh, was able to figure it out and get those kills when, it, when he needed to. This is winner's bracket round three. The winner of this matchup will advance to quarterfinals, I believe. Uh, Red Tail Fox guy, I'm not taking uh, friend request battles right now. Uh, I'm in the middle of TOing a tournament. As I trot off, and here we go. LT going with Game & Watch. Obviously expecting the pick by Kenny to go Ness. The bucket obviously will come into play. I don't know how effective it will be against him, though. We'll see. Game & Watch not really known for being a popular tournament pick. But LT has been known to make unconventional characters work. He tries to upbeat a safety, but he does get cracked by the baseball bat uh, before he evacuates. And LT on the offensive, trying to steal the bucket. Oh, and he makes it back. LT is broken. LT is broken. He gets the gimp. That is amazing. That was ridiculous. He got the bucket full, I think, because of the tail, but he didn't, like, absorb it altogether, which is weird. Okay, now the bucket's full. He got, like, two absorbs of the bucket. And uh, he just kind of does it in Kenny's face. Kenny forced to recover. And Kenny right now in huge trouble as LT is just running train on him, but he runs into the up B. And just like that, uh, LT gives up a good chunk of his lead. And he is trying to get a full bucket again. That will probably seal the deal at this point. Oh, and Kenny SDs as he gives out a... Grunt of frustration. But that first kill was uh, pretty crazy. What? Figured. So yeah, LT is actually using a random number generator to determine what character he picks. That is how it works. He can't go random select right now because custom moves are available. And when you do random select with custom moves, you randomly get assigned equipment as well. So, Pretty big flaw right there in the design of customs and random select. All right, so LT random selecting Falco for a second game. We'll see if he can uh, make, get the best of Kenny again. This should be a lot harder for him if Kenny can uh, avoid getting gimped early like last game. Side B much laggier with Falco in this version. You can't uh, auto can you can't side B cancel anymore the landing lag by doing it immediately out of a jump. I believe there is still some landing lag left over even if you do that. Although it's much although it's much better than just doing it on the ground. And the trade-off being that you can get your double you can double jump after it now. You don't fall go into special fall anymore. And Kenny Poo doing a pretty good job this time of keeping LT under control. Went for a stage spike attempt right there with the back air, but Kenny Poo not a high enough percent to get that to go. Kenny with a kind of ill-spaced forward air right there. Wasn't really sure of where LT was going to move, I think. So that was a pretty uh, fortunate turn of events for him that LT wasn't looking for that. Good grab, though. Gets the back air. LT responds with a dash attack out of shield. 
And a nice uh, reflector choice right there. LT is so creative with these options, and they usually make sense. I say usually. And Kenny going straight to that PK up B harass. Ness forced to drop very low out of respect for Falco's back air and the fact that Kenny would have been in a bad position if he had tried to stick anything out. But uh, Kenny able to get the... Whoa! Okay, that reflector looks a little different. Could be a custom move reflector. Probably is. Interesting enough, I have all the custom moves unlocked, but I don't know most of them, unfortunately. All right, so Kenny in a pretty good position right now. He has Kev at about 50, 60 percent, and that's a very efficient 40 percent with the fire to bat. Nice uh, PK up B, PK Sunda, to hit to the neutral air. Not a whole lot that LT can do in this situation. He is already at back throw percentages, I believe, and Kenny was looking for it right there. Good back air by LT will seal that stock up, but Kenny still has one more to go. And that should be all he needs to close this out. Nice up air. Didn't even need the back throw. As Kev is his turn to moan in frustration. So Ness evens it up at one game apiece. We are going to game three. Stop. I hope that's bad. Is that Rosalina? <laughs> I knew it. Oh, and LT has randomed Rosalina, so here we go. All right, I'm pretty getting pretty good at that. <laughs> okay, so LT has random selected Rosalina with his random number generator. And he doesn't really like this character, but I'm sure he'll do what he can with it. Rosalina's a pretty gifted character, after all. One of the most hotly debated new characters. Some are saying that she's OP, some are saying that she's overrated. Although the sum that says she's overrated is a very small few. The vast majority is saying that she either needs to be banned in tournament, needs to be nerfed, or is just uh, not fun to play against in general. Nice by Kenny Poo to try to get uh, the Luma out of there, but LT one step ahead. That was really interesting, sticking out Luma right there to eat the up B to try to see if Kenny wouldn't make it all the way back. Good jump out to avoid the follow-up from Kenny Poo. He is nearing backwards in retreat just to get space for himself. And you can see Kev not really too comfortable with this character. He's kind of just uh, doing what works, not going for anything too crazy. But with Rosalina, you don't really have to go too nuts. Uh, her, her standalone tilts and aerials are usually good enough to get the job done. Okay, Luma has been eliminated for now. It'll be back in a few seconds, though. I really would have liked Kev to look for an up smash right there. That could have sealed it. That could have been an up smash right there, too. Kenny poking his head over the ledge. And Kenny with a very reactive new neutral there falling off the stage to get himself some space.
and Kenny doing all he can to hold on right now, but a nice up tilt by Kev, using the battlefield platforms to bait Kenny into trying to go over him, thinking that he had coverage. Okay, Luma gets called back towards Kev. And Kenny right now gets the grab, and of course eats the shot from Luma, but he does die, and now Kenny has evened it up. Kenny with some momentum right now. This is a lot closer than I thought it was a couple seconds ago. A great rally by Kenny. <laughs> Kev sticking out Luma. Doesn't really do a whole lot as Luma explodes. And she'll be he'll be back in about three or four seconds. But uh, Kev doing a great job of controlling Kenny until uh, Luma is able to respawn. And Kenny needs to get off those platforms and establish some stage control. It's going to be very difficult, though. There we go. Now he's in the middle, and Luma is far away. Doesn't have to worry too much about getting hit by it. If he can just get Kev up to about 120 and land another back throw, he could steal this set. Oh, I don't really agree with Kenny running in right there, trying to get uh, something a little bit extra. Ooh, that's a really good PK Thunder. That's going to put Kevin in a really bad position. Oh, he should have just uh, cut his losses on the third one, though. Oh, but luckily, Kev doesn't edge guard correctly, and uh, Kenny's able to push him back, but Kev gets the back throw, dodges around the, uh, full, the neutral air, and now Kenny's right back in the game. Oh, there's the back throw! Oh, and that's the game! Oh, Kenny steals it! Steals it! Great game. Great game. Luma tried to rescue him, but it was too little too late. 